I'm gonna try what I call the Witch King. It's a Prince Nymph variation, and it's been working pretty well for me um, in small streams and as under a hop dropper. We're gonna just start right off. I got a size 16 Mustad, uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, it's, mu it's Mustad, and it's a Sprout uh, Shank or Sprout Bend Nymph Hook. Comes in a 50 pack. I really like these. They're, uh, they got a short shank and a wide gap, so on a size 16 hook with a bead, you end up tying flies that are more like size 18 or 20. The thread I'm using is Separate Fly Classic Wax Thread 8 dot in black. And I got a 2.4, 2.5 mil bead. A tungsten, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap down to about where the barb is. As you can see, there's not much shank left. I use black dubbing. This is acrylic dubbing that I got that I got from some yarn. Um, rabbit dubbing worked pretty well here. Actually, it might work a little bit better. This dub, very small, like inch long, thin noodle. Barely anything on there. Make a little ball right there. This will help when putting the tails in. Next, take some biots. I'm not sure if these are goose or turkey, um, but they're white. Cut two of them off. Take one of them, make sure, see how it curves this way? You want it to curve outwards. So I'm gonna take the curved side, basically, and tie it to the shank. You want it maybe like, about a hook gap, a uh, long tail. Tie it in, it's about two wraps. Take the other one, do the same thing. And make sure to tie it, watch sure this one wrap, you wanna kinda of pull it up because the thread torque is gonna carry it to the other side. It's gonna kinda of like move it over and then make sure to tie it back to that dubbing ball. And then make a smooth body all the way back to the, just behind the bead. And then snip them off as close as you can. Cover it up. All right, next got some small silver wire um, gonna tie it on the near side of the hook to you uh, also you could use a longer shank hook um, if you want like a bigger fly it's gonna be about like a size 16 but it's gonna look more like a size 18 and take that same dubbing you were using and build a, a longer, like two, two and a half, three inch long noodle. Still make it thin though. You can always add more too. It's harder to, harder to take off dubbing than it is to add. right back there at the tail wrap up you kind of want to leave a little bit of a little bit of room back there yeah I'm gonna take some off All right. a little, little bit of room for the hackle and wings and just Make a segmented body, kind of like a zebra midge. Then helicopter it off. All right. Save that piece though for other flies. And then um, I got a it's like Indian cape, uh, 
It's like those cheap dry fly capes. Uh, I'm gonna take a really small feather. I uh, want a smaller feather for these. Instead of like a size 16, maybe you do like more of like an 18 or 20, because you want the, because you don't want the legs to be too long. You can also use a really small, like soft tackle. All right, and here's one. Always measure. Yeah, that looks fine. A little long, that's okay. I'm gonna pull off this fluffy stuff and cut cut the stem pretty short. Right there. Tie it into the near side. And then get your hackle pliers. Make sure you get the stem, not just the fibers, or else it'll slip off. There we go. Nope. Do not need to take very many wraps. One, yeah, maybe just one right there. Tie it off, two on it, and then the one in front of it. And then snip it off. Next, like stroke the fibers back. Like a, make a little base with thread for the biots like that next take two more biots uh, same same color white this time um you want the curved side to be down you don't want to put them on straight you curve them just a little bit kind of like do this one out at the angle that the at the same yeah kind of on the same like parallel with the tail. Do two wraps. Then get the other one put on top. Do it at the, do it parallel with the other tail. And then two more, see how it's looking. Pull it a little bit. All right, that's looking good. Take some more wraps on it, and then a couple in front, and then snip these really close, because, oh, that was perfect. Actually, no, the, shoot, the wings got messed up. Not oh, great. That's fine. And then do a whip finish. Gotta make sure that that thread does not slide off the bead. Speaking of beads, um, this this fly would look really good with a silver bead if I had any, but fish don't really care with the gold bead. So if you are gonna buy material specifically for this fly, I would get a silver bead just to match the silver silver wire. You could also use matte black uh, or purple or red or whatever. Actually, whatever color beads you want. Then got the. Sally Hansen Double Duty Nail Polish. Put a tiny drop there. Right on those exposed thread wraps. I'm kind of... Don't really want them on the legs. EV resin would also look nice on here. Alright, and that is the Witch King. Sort of a cool little print snip variation. Um, Love to try this in. I'd love to try this on the Truckee uh, or other winter fisheries during the winter uh, to imitate like little winter stoneflies or or midges if you, you want to tie it really small. And it's one of those flies that I just really like to tie. A lot of a lot of flies um, I tie two or three and I'm, and I'm bored of it. Um, but this fly I can tie like tie like eight of them and I, I still love it. Not exactly a guide fly, but it's fun to tie and fun to fish.